the junior beekeeper. Welcome back to another video. So I'm just going to be talking about myself. We'll probably do that tomorrow instead. Let's go on from yesterday. Know your bees. What I meant by that is know your layout. Like know the right time to do the bees. Don't just go out there and like, oh hey, I'll do it. Uh, just know your bees first. Uh, know you need to know the time, the right time for it. The right time. Like open up the boxes and I'm like, hey. So that's what I meant by that yesterday. Sorry if I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make the videos on Saturday. And we'll upload them on Saturday if we get them done on Saturday or we'll upload them or we'll edit them on Saturday. Get everything done and then we'll upload it. We'll probably edit and then upload on Sunday, but I'll make the video on Saturday. So this this video will be been on on Sunday. It'll probably be done today. But just that's gonna I'm trying to do that. I make the video on Saturday. And then I do that stuff. Okay, so let's do this. You dress up in a white suit, you get into your hives, you first smoke the front entrance, so it, and then you take off the lid, you there should be a little slit about that wide, that long. And then you smoke that little slit and then you take off the whole cover and you're like all <coughs> around it. So then it's like their house is on fire or whatever. And then they're going to make emergency exit, like that. And, uh, it's like your house is on fire, okay? That's what it would be like for them. Um, and then you just do that, and then you get into the hive. Then what you want to look for is honey. You don't want any baby bees in it if you want to get, if you want to make honey. You don't want baby bees or the queen or anything. All you want is just honey or just frame. Frame with just honey. Then you, uh, so let's do what we do here at our warehouse. We take it, after we're done with the bees, we take it home. We probably wait like half, like, we wait and then we do the right time when we feel like it. We have time. We take it and we go through this process. What you can do is you have this big bucket, okay, the white white bucket, clear, see, see through, and then you have this little bar, like a little bar of, uh, like it's wood, going across it, it's about that long, and the bucket's about that long, and then the bucket is about that wide, what is it, about that thick, right there, you'll take it, and you will, you'll take like a really spiky, uh, it's like a brush, but it's like, there's like 10 of them, 10 of them, little spiky things, they're really sharp. So you go to about that much inside the hive, inside the frame, and you scoop out all the honey. Once you go about that much inside the frame, you're just going to let it sit for a second and let it all drain out. If that doesn't help, go in about that much more. This should get it all. Go around the whole part of the honey. You don't have to do it technically the whole frame because that's just a waste of frame. Uh, we, we, we do it the whole frame just because we, we don't like to just leave some of it uncapped and some of it capped, but my point is here, and then it drains, all the honey drains down to the bottom level, okay, there's a little panel where the, where the, uh, wax goes, and then there's a little holes where the wax can't go under, there might be a little, little pieces that go under. And then there's a little slit, like one of those knob things for like a door, but they're like, they're like lift open. I'll probably put a picture of it if I can find one. You open that with a big barrel or the bucket? Well, you'll do, you put it in a bucket. Hmm. Bucket or the barrel, I forget. You'll put it in this five gallon bucket that also has a little knob. Um, so what you'll do is you'll take the frame that you already cut open, you'll put in this big jug, like a big drum. There's a little bar, you spin that probably like one or two minutes. You'll spin it for one minute or a little more. 
and then you'll uh, check the frames, make sure all the honey's out on the right side. It'll slap the side of it and the inside, and then all the honey all will come out on that side. If not all the honey came out, it's okay. You can always flip it around a third time. But the second time you'll flip it around, make sure it's all on capped, and then you'll spin again for like a minute or more. So you do that again if if it uh, if it didn't work very well. But you'll probably spin it for two minutes. So you spin it for like two minutes. What you'll do, you'll take the frames, put it back in your bucket. What you'll do, like in the cart or the box that you got it from, you'll like uh. You'll drain it, you'll drain, so there's an, also a knob in the five, big drum, about this big, probably more, about this big, a fine mesh strainer, and then, uh, just like little teeny tiny holes, so then just the honey goes down, it'll take a while, probably like three, two hours, because how slow honey is, is pretty thick, and you'll put, you'll put that, you'll, uh, we do two of them, we'll, we'll, We'll put like, like a little bigger holes, one, and we'll put the actual strainer in there, and then it'll drip down, drip, 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 it all, and then but you have to stay with it, and make sure it don't overflow, or just set the right, right little opening of it, and then wait a little bit, and then it should drip all out into the bucket, because you have to strain it, because there might be uh, little cappings or whatever in it. You don't want any of that unless you're like one of those people that like to uh, like have comb in your honey. Yeah, that's what we usually do. And then, uh, okay guys, that'll be the end for today. I don't know if it's been 10 minutes or not, but I don't care. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.